and what a spiky debate it was. Very spiky indeed. Thanks to Michelle, of course, as well. Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer there. They've had their say here in the spin room. Their supporters will be vying to make their claim that their man was the winner. So in the next half hour, politicians and journalists will tell us was it dazzling or disaster? And most important, of course, remember, Robert and Tasneen, two of the questioners from the audience, will be with us too. We'll find out if they thought the answers from the two men were good enough. Yep, and uh, we'll be checking out some of the claims that were made by both men. But first, before all that, we're in the spin room. Laura, you have frequented many of these establishments, shall we say, over time. Um, how did that go? Well, it was very intense. It was very spiky, as yeah. you said. You could tell that both men know that the time is now. This is when the country, millions of people, are tuning in to find out what they stand for. And those undecided voters are starting to think, what are they going to do when they get into the polling booth? There were two words in particular that both men kept coming back to. Rishi Sunak, I think for the first time in this campaign, kept using the word surrender. Surrender, what, don't surrender the borders, don't surrender your finances. He even used that word in his closing statement. His whole thrust, a very aggressive warning to voters watching about what Labour would look like. Keir Starmer's favourite phrase seemed to be 14 years, 14 years, 14 years, consistently trying to remind people watching of the Conservatives record. So those two very clear bits of messaging coming from both men in a very, very intense debate. But I think a lot of people watching at home might feel that the moment of the night was from one of our questioners who stood up and said, putting both of them on the spot, are you really the best that we can do? Yeah, and that's Robert, and we're going to have him. Um, but at the end of the day, do you think the dial will have moved when it comes to the polls or whatever with seven days to go? Well, it is very late for the Conservatives to make a recovery. They've been behind for months in the run-up to the election, and the polls haven't really budged very much at all. So Rishi Sunak is definitely on the back foot. But we saw a much punchier Rishi Sunak tonight. And I wonder if some of our viewers, some of you at home and some Conservatives will be thinking, where was that fighter in the last few weeks? There's no question we saw him being very more aggressive. We can see Keir Starmer leaving the debate, yep, I think, there tonight. He there he is, leaving the venue here in Nottingham after a very, very intense an hour and 15 minutes. Right then, I want to show you where we are. So this is the spin room where the parties are beginning to busily trying to claim victory. Let me show you around because it gets pretty crazy in here. We've got journalists from all the other broadcasters, our print colleagues here. And let me show you, this is what happens. So in the middle of that scrum is Pat McFadden. Oh, the Health Secretary, Victoria Atkins, has just bumped into me. We're live on BBC One. You're live on BBC One. A very brief word. We're going to talk to your colleague in a second, but you chipper or not? Uh, I thought Rishi showed his plan for the future, but also the very serious choice we will make uh, as a country next week okay we must not surrender okay we're going to talk country. we're going to talk to the home secretary in just a minute but i couldn't resist a grabbing a word now this is what happens there's the labor party some of their top team pat mcfadden their campaign chief jonathan ashworth one of his colleagues and labor's press team there and i just want to show you around the other side this is what happens behind the scenes in journalism all our broadcast colleagues on air as this argument is far from over so the two main men have an hour and 15 minutes on the stage fighting it out as they very much did tonight but it is not all over bar the shouting because now the contest to claim victory really gets underway clive all right thank you for that little tour of the environment here and i'm pleased to say that our two guests Audience members who ask questions have just joined us. Robert Blackstone, Tasneem Zahara, thank you so much. First of all, Robert, your question brought gasps. Is this the best we've got to choose from? That was your question. And what was the response? Were you, I don't know, did you think that perhaps things improved as a result of what you heard? No, no, no. I, I was disappointed with the response from both uh, Rishi and Sakia. Uh, neither of them seemed to want to say why they were good, if that makes any sense. They were sort of going on what they'd done in the past. They weren't saying that they weren't being positive. We, from a Prime Minister, from my perspective, we want a personality. We want somebody that we can recognise. We want somebody on the world stage that is going to project our great Britain. 
Right. That's what we want. Yeah, well, Tasneem, I mean, you were talking about possibly leaving the country. You know, what could these two leaders tell you to make you feel, unlike your friends who've already left, that you should, that you have a future here in this country? I really wanted them to mention the quality of life that's in the UK versus other countries. Why are young people leaving the yeah. UK to other countries like the UAE, like Australia? It is the quality of life here. It's detrimental here. It is the cost of houses and trying to get onto the property ladder without parental um, help. Because a lot, of, a lot of young people do not have parental help, and that's just the facts. They didn't mention about how can I, as a young person, be feel confident that I will get a very good, well-paying job with my skill set. The unemployment rates for grads is astronomical now, and universities are churning out graduates year on year. But firms and companies, they're cutting their headcount and university graduates are left, you know, with almost like a depression. It's very hard to find a job now. So I really wanted them to touch on the quality of life and the jobs. Yes, Rishi Sunak said that he will implement a 5% deposit with a loan that we can get from the government for 20%. But that's another loan. They, they didn't say anything about reducing the cost of houses. They didn't say anything about our quality of life here. So I didn't really feel confident with their answers, neither of them. Okay, back to you, Robert, because you're a long-time Conservative voter. Yes, yes. And I'm just wondering how you're feeling now with seven days to go before you've got to make the decision. Still undecided, I'm afraid. You're, you're one of the undecideds. I am, very much so, yes. And tonight, in fairness to both the politicians that we've seen, they haven't made me decide one way or the other. Uh, you know, I worry about things that haven't been talked about. I worry about inheritance tax. Right. I worry about council banding. I worry about fuel duty. We've been pushed down, or let's say been pushed, we've been persuaded to go down the uh, electric vehicle route. Fuel duty provides a huge revenue to the Treasury. How are they going to replace that? All right. Okay, Tasneem, what about you? Seven days to go. How are you feeling, you one way or the other, in terms of where you may cast your vote? Before coming here, I kind of had my mind set on which way I'm inclining towards. However, neither party is really enticing to me. Although Rishi Sunak might have enticing incentives for young people, like reducing the stamp duty and so on, after the last 14 years of flimsy promises and empty promises, how am I to tell that there will be results after, out of these promises? I can't. There's no results. There hasn't been any results since the last 14 years. So, although I may not agree entirely with either leader, I'll have to make a strategic vote. All right. We're going to leave it there.